Welcome to this product demonstration of Resource Central 4.0. This is Travis Campbell from Add-on Products, and I'm going to be showing you Resource Central, the room and resource booking tool for Microsoft Outlook, Exchange, and Office 365 from an end user perspective. We'll start out by selecting the time in which we want to have our meeting and open up a new meeting request. This is a standard Outlook meeting request that we've simply added our functionality into. And here we can invite our attendees. We can give it a subject, as well as being able to add Skype for Business information into the meeting request. The next step is to click on Resource Finder, which is the button into Resource Central, allowing us to filter through all of our rooms and resources as well as seeing our attendee availability. And now we're going to click on attendees to take a look at who's available to attend this meeting. These are all internal attendees, so I can see who's available and it looks like everyone can make this appointment. Then the next step is going to be to filter all of these different rooms and resources in order to find the right one for, for me. And we have four different ways of filtering here in the left side of the screen. We have locations, which in this case you can see we have a very international, uh, multinational setup in this demo system. So the German location is my default, and that's what we're seeing over here in the resource overview. And this is multi-level, so we can flip this out and see that there's different cities and different buildings. And this is completely customizable for customers. Some only have one location, some have several more than what we're showing here. Uh, but this is tailor-made for, for each customer using Resource Central. Additionally, we can have multiple locations shown at any time. So here we could say that we're looking at uh, two different locations in Germany and the UK. And if we want to be more specific about these rooms, we can also search and sort by categories. And categories is also a fully customizable tree format where we're able to assign different types of categories to different types of resources. So if we want to see in these two locations which of these resources are video conferencing enabled, we simply select the video conferencing category and have that filtered down to the relevant rooms that we're wanting to see. The next two, favorites and search and filter, is typically for larger customers who are wanting to very easily find a favorite room. And that can be done simply by right clicking and adding a room to the favorites. And the search and filter is again for larger organizations who are wanting to very easily find a room by name, capacity, and a combination of specific filters. So if we're wanting to look at the availability of the different rooms, we can see on the resource overview which are booked. These have two different colors. Blue means that it is simply booked. And if I want to, I can take a look at who the organizer is if this feature has been enabled. You can also decide whether or not you want to communicate the subject of this, this meeting. And here we can click on uh, the organizer's email address to communicate with them. But we have another color, which is green. And here I can see that this is my own appointment. This is very useful for users who have uh, multiple meetings throughout the day and are wanting as much as possible to stay within the same room. Here we can see a mouse over image of the room, and we can also click on the name to be brought into a details side uh, over here on the left where we can see further details, which is an HTML area allowing you for great flexibility to show all sorts of information, icons, uh, any sort of web content you want here, as well as some text information up above. This room will fit nicely and I'm using it right before this specific meeting, so that will be great. I'm going to select it. And the next step is going to be the ability to order extra services. And we do so by clicking on this order form. So here we are in this order form for this specific room, and each room or resource can have its own specific order form. In this one, we have three different available options. We have catering, we have attendees, and extra services. Just to start off with catering, here we have the ability to have two different deliveries or more. We're going to start with lunch at 1230, and we're going to have an order of coffee coming in a little bit later. 
Here in this menu, we have the items separated into categories. So we have food categories and we have beverages and so forth. This is an option. You can have all of your menu items listed out simply if you wish, or you can separate them in this way. So here we're going to order some lunch items as well as some coffee and tea for later. And this is a simple process where you have a name, the ability to have a price, and then the quantity. And if you're using prices, then you can have a catering total, which then can be billed internally to a cost code. The next section is the ability to register attendees. And here we're automatically pulling over the email address and display name from the people you've invited in your Outlook meeting request. And this is very useful when you're inviting a lot of external employees so that your reception has an overview of who is coming to which meeting and who is responsible for that guest. Here we've got all of the people that we've invited. We can add contact numbers and additional details. Here we can see that this is an employee, uh, an internal employee. Uh, but all of this information only needs to be entered once and then is associated with the email address. This final section, which we call extra services in this example, is where it becomes very flexible. This is an HTML form where you can have any service you want. And this is just an example of what we see in a lar large amount of our customers. The first option we have here is a cost code. And we have a very simple example where we select a department and put a name. But this is a required field, and if we don't do this, we're unable to submit our order for catering and so forth. The next section is a table arrangement section where we have two different options in this specific room, so we can simply choose one of those. Here we have a digital signage area where we can integrate with third-party digital signage providers. We can send a special greeting or so forth over to this, these third-party systems using XML files. And finally, we have an IT request area where we have the ability to request Wi-Fi passwords or help from our IT teams for setting up a projector or a computer or so forth. And all of these items are available for any type of service. They're just check boxes and text fields that could have any number of services associated with them. And everything that we're ordering is going to be sent to a service provider in our workflow. So we're going to press send order, save and close, and we're now back to our meeting request. And the very next step is to send this off to all of our attendees and to the meeting room. After I've sent off my meeting request, I get an acceptance from the room. This is the standard exchange acceptance. And then I get an email confirmation from Resource Central that basically shows me all of the information that I have booked and allows me to make changes to any of this if I've misspelled something or have ordered something incorrectly. I can simply do so by clicking on this link. I don't need to keep these emails. I can delete them because I also have a button up here in my ribbon called My Meetings. And this allows me to go through all of my different meetings and make changes to them. So here, for instance, I can find the different meetings I have on the 5th of April, and I can come in and make any changes I need to in terms of quantities, guests, and so forth. As part of the standard product, Resource Central also offers users a web app, which allows those who don't have access to their Outlook to see their calendar and make bookings and invite attendees via a web app, via browser on any mobile device or on a laptop. And this is just a very quick example to show how that happens. On a mobile device, we'd simply tap our thumb on the specific time that we're wanting to book. And we'd go through a very simple booking process where we have a subject. The date and time is what we've already selected. And here we can invite our attendees. This will search the global address list for internal attendees. We can also type in external email addresses. And finally, we have the same resources available that are able to be searched through by the same locations and categories that we saw in the add-in within Outlook. So when we search for a specific location, we can see all of the different rooms. We can see which rooms have been booked by myself. 
and we can select that, whichever room we might want to use, and say save. This will generate a meeting request, which is sent to the meeting room as well as my attendees. That was a quick look at how end users can use Resource Central to book meeting rooms and order extra services. If you're interested in more information, please visit us at www.ad-on.com.